Listen, if you need something to stick to your ribs and warm you up, listen, because it's cold out there, right? Today, we finna make a chili. Let's get it. Now look, we finna go over some of these ingredients, right? I'm finna fly by it, but don't trip. Listen, I got a website, smokingandgrillingwithab.com. That's W-I-T-A-B.com, right? So listen, when you look at this, you can see it look like a lot, but these ingredients right here is what take you over the top. Now some of y'all remember this right here. Listen, that was like the secret ingredient when we were doing that chili, right? But you see this right here? Oh boy. Okay, so look, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with this bacon, right? I like to have a little bacon inside of that. You normally don't have to do that. I'm putting a medium flame underneath the bottom of this, right? But as you guys know, I always save my bacon right here. You know what I mean? Because you could just start with your bacon fat, you know, to go ahead and saute and start your onions, right? I mean, your veggies. But I wanna add a little bit in here, so we're gonna do six. I'm gonna show you. I used to cut these down, but you guys should have yourself some some kitchen shears, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just start cutting these just like you see. All right, so now get yourself a paper plate, line it with, you know, a napkin, paper towel, shake it off. And you see this right here? This is what you wanna have. I mean, you guys can do it. I mean, if you want to take it down even further than that, but don't forget, it kind of like cooks, you know, even though it's drying itself out and releasing some of that bacon fat, right? But it's going to get nice and crispy either way. We finna go ahead and, you know, prep all of our veggies, right? So I'm going to go ahead and cut this down. Now, we've been doing this for a minute. We all know just how easy this, this is, right? So I take one of my little testing spoons. I take this like this, and I just scrape it out. So once you got your jalapeno, you know, you cleaned out, right? I call it the de -seeding. If you guys want it to be hot, you can go ahead and just leave it, right? So I'm gonna just cut it like this and I see that little piece of seed on the other side. You know what I mean? One seed's not gonna harm nothing. But if you put the rest of them in there, just trust me when I tell you, it's gonna be a little bit on the hot side, right? Now after we do the jalapeno, right? Then it's come time to do, you know, our bell peppers. Now you guys cut these down. I'm not gonna bore you. You know what I mean? I don't have no real technique. You guys see how I do it in all my videos, so. Let me just go ahead and get this cleaned out. And then once I get it diced, we'll move over to the next step. So we got everything diced down, right? Look, I put my jalapenos on here because we're not gonna put these in right away, right? So I'm gonna take this. I already got my, you know, my bacon fat back up to temp. Now we're just gonna go ahead and just push this in just like this. Now, and you know, when you was making your bacon, if anything kind of like stuck down to the bottom, don't worry about it. The acid inside of your, you know, your onion gonna help get everything up, right? So right now I'm just making sure everything is coated. Once it's coated, then I'm gonna make sure we got maximum surface contact, right? So I'm just gonna push this down, everything down, just like this, and we finna let it work. I probably should have said this from the beginning, we just cooking this down until they just soften them up just a little bit. You don't want to get these all translucent or nothing like that because it's going to be a little bit of a cook process afterwards, right? So we just do it like this. And I can feel when you know you're using them, whatever utensil you're using, you can feel they starting to get soft, right? So once they start to get soft, that's what you want. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in my ground beef. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just break it all up. You know what I mean? But we're going to cook this until this turns brown. For those of you guys who have been following me for a minute, you know about having one of these little mashers, right? This right here is good on your whatever type of coating that you have on any type of dish that you're doing, right? So I just go like this, and I mean, and we started out with like a pound and a half, right? So you guys can just see it breaks it, breaks it down. I don't have to worry about like scratching under my, you know, you know, my enamel on my Dutch oven or nothing like that. And you can look, let me see if I can pick some of this up. Look at that right there, that's what you want. Now, I don't want to overcook it from here. I just want to, I don't want to see any pink, right? And now that the pink is gone, look, I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to go ahead. If you guys are using fresh garlic, I'm going to put that in now because we're going to put this over on top, right? Put this in. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, listen, I'm not feeling the best today, but check this out. This right here put me, put a smile on my face, make me all warm and fuzzy inside, right? Now, for those of you guys who wanted to have, I guess if you was using ground beef that was like 80, 20, I probably would have just like drained a little bit of my oil out. You know what I mean? That's really up to you. You know what I mean? But if you want that nice taste and flavor, you know what I mean? Uh, I used, I think I used 93.70. Excuse me, 93.7. 
right? So we don't have to worry about burning nothing, none of our uh, garlic, right? Because we put this on top, we just moving this around. Now, this is where it get easy, easy folks. We finna go ahead. Now look, when it come to all of my beans, right? Yeah, I could have made it soaked beans the night before, but that makes your cooking process longer, so I'm using canned beans. Trust me when I tell you folks, you won't really know the difference, right? Now, I've already drained everything, right? You wanna get yourself a spatula, cause look, we wanna get it all. Now, we can talk down to the comment section below for all you guys that like to say, hey, beans ain't supposed to go in, no type of chili or nothing like that. So I know I can see it right now, cause listen, I made several types of chilies and that's what everybody talks about. Even from Texas, half of Texas do beans, the other half don't. Now look, it's coming together. You see that right there? Ooh wee. It looked like chili now. And I know some of y'all saying, dang, like AB got out with three types of beans. Yes, sir. This wouldn't be chili without none of this paste, right? You guys tell me, cause I know when we talk about mayo, everybody talk about the different brands. But just tell me, what's your favorite, you know, paste, tomato paste? You now when I put my paste in there, along with the heat, you know, I like to start moving that around, get that to be a little bit more, you know, mixable, right? All right, and now for my fire roasted. Now I'm getting ready to come with my bacon, right? So I'm gonna take my bacon, just give it a little bit of, of a crumble. Now don't forget, I use the whole pack. When you guys do my recipe, you know, it's gonna say like six slices. It's up to you. You know what I mean? I can't have too much bacon, right? So I'm gonna save some of this back. Now I'm getting ready to add my jalapeno. Remember these right here? We finna dump this in here just like this. Now we finna give it a mix. And this right here, this combination of these seasonings, you know what I mean? It's gonna give it that chili taste. Now, you see this right here? Look how thick it is. You wanna know how thick it is right now? Let me just do it like this then. I'll just stick it like this, and that'll let you know. That right there, this is what I call stick to your ribs and warm you up. Let's just talk about taking it over the top, right? I'm gonna slide this over into the face right here so you guys can look. I know some of y'all are saying like, dang, AB, talk to me. Trust me, just a tablespoon. Of course, I didn't do it like this. That would make it, you know, this more like a heaping, but not too much, folks. We'll just add that. And then, for those of you guys that had trusted me, we went with the cinnamon, right? You see that? Just a little bit of this in here like this. You know what, we're just gonna put about a teaspoon in there. It's all you need, because we came with the, you know, the cocoa powder, right? So now we're gonna get us a mix. You see this right here? This that W sauce. You gotta have that, all right? So we're gonna put about a tablespoon of this inside. We come with our broth. Just a little bit at a time. It's gonna cook down, so look, it might look a little watery to you guys once we get it all in here. So we always talk about tasting, right? So we want this to be right. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this two generous pinches of salt. This is a big pot of chili, folks. It's gonna take it. Then when it comes to this right here, you know, I can just tell you, listen, we just finna turn until our elbow get tired and our wrist get tired. Everything is right. I done ran my spatula across the bottom and the top and the sides. I'm gonna go ahead and put this lid on, but look, I'm gonna leave this lid and I'm gonna leave it vented. You can cook this for a minimum of 45 minutes, right? If you got the time, do it all day. You know what I mean? This will take three hours though, for sure, three to four hours. But after 45 minutes, I'm just saying nice and slow and watch what happens. And you know what? This is like spaghetti, folks. It's always better the next day. I'll see y'all in 45. Okay, so look, if you guys come here and take a look inside of this boat, uh, my Dutch oven right here, you can see, this is what it looks like after like about an hour and 15 minutes. I told you guys about 45 minutes, but you can see this is just right. Now, listen, if you guys gonna plan on cooking it all day, I would just ask you to reserve a little bit of your broth back or have some extra broth so that like if it thickens up too much or cooks too much, you know what I mean? It gets real, real thick. You wanna add some to it. That's all you gotta do. But you see this right here? This is fire that you can smell it. Your whole house should just be full of like that chili aroma. You know what? I'm not finna over talk it. I'm finna just go ahead, put some in this bowl and then we finna taste it.
Here it is right here. Listen, I'm not finna over talking. I'm finna get right into this. I gotta taste this, folks. You know, with all of the dressing, and when I say dressing, I mean your sour cream and onion. You know, uh, we got green onion, chives, bacon. Mm. Cheers. Listen, we can open up the debate and we can talk down at the bottom. Most of you guys are going to come back and tell me just how bomb this is right here. And don't forget, we put that cocoa powder and that cinnamon in there. Hey, with that being said, listen, if you're new, you know what to do. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe, tell everybody out there there's a channel out here to simplify these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. You know what, folks? I'm out. Peace. Thank you.